Hi, Pookie. I'm so tired. I don't know. I'm starting now. I have to like. I swear, I need to keep a journal and figure out if it's related to the day I do the injections. Today is. You guessed it, Valentine's Day. We've got our little uh, dry cuties from, I think two weeks ago, <laughs> he called me and he was like, hey, just so you know, those ones that I gave you, that I was just getting Valentine's Day out of the way, just so you know, so don't expect nothing. And I started cracking up and he's like, why are you laughing? Don't expect anything. And he brought them inside and he said, these are actually for Crash. <laughs> They're so pretty. He gives me flowers and stuff like, you know, beyond special occasions and stuff. So it's always nice, but I'm not gonna lie, the Valentine's flowers usually hit a little different. I'm gonna put something under this just in the meantime, because this is a marble table. We haven't messed it up yet. Um, I love them. They're the cutest things ever. They're so, I'm so excited. They're so cute. That feels very cute. Okay, he also got me um, chocolates and stuff. But I got the kids something. I don't normally get the kids stuff for Valentine's Day. Maybe when they were really little, I used to get them stuff like this. Like, I would get them this type of stuff. Somebody gave that to him. A month ago, actually, I was at Target and I was browsing the uh, Valentine aisle whenever I made my little Target video of me going to Target and doing that. And I ended up getting the kids some stuff. I got myself a Lego set and then I ended up getting both of them a Lego set. I know this one was really, really, really popular for Valentine's Day. But Jaden's got a really cool collection of the heads and the hands and stuff. So I thought this would be kind of fun to give him. Look what I found in my pantry. Masa bun. We are gonna make a masa bun latte. I made a reel on it back in September. I made it actually in Mexican Independence Day. I just put it in, actually I don't remember how I did it in the video, but to me it makes the most sense to drop it in the cup and then put the espresso over it so that it will help kind of dissolve it a tiny bit. When I posted it, we had a whole discussion on there about masapan versus marzipan. They are two different things. Masapan is in fact peanuts, peanuts and sugar. Uh, marzipan I believe is almond, but I feel like it's one of those things that looks like it's gonna taste way better than it does and then it just, doesn't hit. My, uh, masa bun's way better. But I like peanuts more than I like almonds anyway too, so I guess that makes sense. This is literally from that pack from September. I'm sure this doesn't expire. Damn, I forgot this thing follows me everywhere. Like, I can't walk away. Weirdo. Anyway, as you can imagine, it doesn't just dissolve. So I listened to my Bible this morning. I think I told you, maybe I didn't. I've been doing the Bible 365 uh, plan on the Holy Bible app, and it's been wonderful. It it takes you through, it, this is, it's chunky because it has chunks of peanuts in it. So like, if you're not into chunky peanuts, then you're not gonna like this. It's, it smells so good though. But it's really nice because it's a, it's a daily reading plan, and you can obviously just listen to it if you want. It takes you through the entire Bible in 365 days. I really like it because I feel like, because the way that they set it up, it's not taking you like from beginning to end. It's taking you, it's, you're jumping around and you're doing Old Testament and New Testament. But the way that it does it, I feel like it keeps the stories very, very, very cohesive. So far so good. I'm on day like 57 or 58 or so. I don't know, I'm, I'm in the 50s, late 50s. Love that. And it's only 15 minutes a day. If you wanna read the Bible and you're struggling, or you feel like you need a little encouragement in some way, I would recommend uh, that plan. I got the brewmate cup, the one that doesn't spill, but I don't love the silicone straw on the top. That's weird. I don't know if they had to do that or what. You can lock it and then it, it doesn't spill. You can throw it in your bag if you want and it it is really nice. Did some work. It's still gonna hang this camera. Yeah. Not sure I like the fake the the face tracking thing. Like I can turn it off. And the the coloring is still kind of sucky unless I'm right in front of a window. But when I'm over there, I look like it's corpse like. I don't even know how else to explain it. It's like it's like that episode of Seinfeld with the bad lighting. That's what that side of the counter is. And then this side of the counter is like, well look, she just looks normal. <laughs> uh, I am wearing sweatpants, but I'm not wearing like my cute little put together sweat outfit because I went to go put on the hoodie this morning and I was like, mm, this needs to be washed. Like it had some stains on it. So we're gonna go throw that in the washer with the other uh, lights and whites or whatever. And then we're heading to my Madre's house. We're gonna scoop her up and hit up Costco. Okay, psych, like, I'm gonna wash this out first. I couldn't even finish the coffee. Unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Obviously 
am less hungry, uh, but I am struggling now to want to eat or drink anything. So I am gonna get some Benefiber because I'm gonna throw that into my water at the very least just to make sure I'm getting something in. And then, I don't know, maybe when I go to Costco today, I'll see something that, you know, is like really high in protein that I can just make myself eat. I, I don't know. I'm, now I'm struggling. Now I'm in the struggle phase of trying to just get something in because I have zero desire for any of it. Maybe, you know what, I am gonna make an iced coffee because normally when I'm out and about and I have an iced coffee next to me, I do tend to reach for it. So, not that coffee is nutritious, mind you, it's just that I'm getting like no liquids in at all. I haven't finished this in two days. Rolled up to Costco. Actually, it's not that cold, it's just windy. No, it's just windy. Oh, I love these. I know. I I don't like having them. I have so many. I wish they would just sell the plate. That's exactly. Oh, look, this one does. This one does. Yeah, they need to be able to. Why is it so big? If probably just sell their plates a bit. Yeah, they should just sell the plates though normally. I know, cause then I have like nine thousand of them. Nobody wants. I know. I agree. Trash. I know. I have like seven of them. And we only use them like once. I wish they sold my freaking filters here. Mine are so fat. They're like 30 bucks each. Oh look, they have stuff. I think I'm gonna get these because they look like they're real high protein. You know what? I don't like their salad kits here as much. I like them better at Sam's. I, I got some here and they I it made my stomach hurt when I ate them. This gumbo is good too. Nine grams, six servings per oh, sleeve. Yeah. I would eat half of that, obviously. <laughs> what would that be? Not that much. Nah. Oh, that one looks better. You know, I just think I just want to make some gumbo. Yeah. You make really good gumbo. I'm a little obsessed. You have a problem. <laughs> you do. just pour a scoop of it in your tea? Yeah. Or it, it makes tea? Water. It makes oh, tea. It's water. tea. It is tea. Oh. Nice. Yep, I mean, we're loading up. Yeah. Stop. Mostly here for this. Apparently. Amazing. amazing. Amazing? It's, oh my gosh. We never come to this Costco. At least I don't normally come to this Costco. We're in St. Charles right now. I only come with you. I know. And I normally go to the Plainfield one when I'm by myself. Because the Naperville one is always wild. Yeah, you gotta park in another village. I know. But this one's good. I feel like no matter when we really come. Which we don't come on the weekend. We're not crazy. Coffee. New coffee place for us. It was a mission getting here. But we made it. You like my new tiny camera? You guys were trying to figure out if it was, um, ah, thank if you. It, which direct orientation it went. Yeah. Like you had it one way. Chai latte with oat milk. Yeah. And then you like press this button and it'll zoom it in. Oh. We're going to the townhouse books. It's cute. <laughs> and then they have a cafe. Let's follow her. Right. I've always kind of wanted this one. Only because I watched that guy on YouTube though. Oh, actually it was this one that I wanted. Mastering the Art of French Cooking. <sighs> this is such an interesting little store. I feel like I'm at someone's house. Oh, they got a bunch of myrtles. Myrtle! Oh, you, you bought one and then Nala got one, right? Yeah, Nala bought herself one, and I happened to have already bought her one. It was under the Christmas tree, so that really worked out. I was telling Solomon, I was like, I learned so much last year. I did learn that uh, Brussels sprouts are not worth a hassle. No kidding, they're not. They're not. And they don't even taste that good, if we're being honest. I'm not, like, no. out here trying to do PR for Brussels sprouts or cauliflower or any cruciferous thing. Have you guys read Fourth Wing? I'm thinking about it. I don't want to get it. Nala's reading this one series and I made her stop because I wasn't sure if it's like too adult and I think I'm just going to read it so that I can find out. They don't have it, but it's a Sarah J. Mass series. It's not Crescent City and it's not this one. It's the other one, Throne of Glass. And I'm wondering if maybe I should pick it up and read it. I heard this is a slow burn. He doesn't even write... Oh, maybe he does actually. No, slow burn. It's like oh, a burn. two people getting together, but 
very slowly. I was pushing my mom to change our book club book. This is her new. This is her new selection here. My new selection. The Martian. But he's a good author. All right. Take your word for it. From well, yeah, and I'm taking other people's words for it because I haven't read it yet. Hi, love bug. We're bringing stuff in from outside from the car. My MacBook still broken. They did fix the one issue that was the first issue, which is we couldn't even get into it. Yada, yada, yada. It's still broken. I don't think there's anything I can do about it, but I'm still going to try because at this point, what is there to lose? I bought one book at that bookstore and it's The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. I am very interested to read this. Um, I made a comment the other day about liking Anthony Bourdain and I liked his outlook and stuff on life. And then someone said, didn't he kill himself? He did. Um, so sort of the black, as you may or may not know. I don't think that's the defining part of their lives. And I'm really excited to read The Bell Jar. And I'm really excited to read Anthony Bourdain's book because everything that I saw of him, I thought he was a very interesting man. And I mean, people got demons that they're fighting, you know what I mean? And things end how they end. But I don't think that detracts from who they were while they were here. And right now I'm, I'm listening to The Glass Jar and, or I'm sorry, <laughs> The Glass Jar, The Glass Castle, which uh, it's really giving me this, a, a similar vibe to Educated, which obviously The Glass Castle came out first. Um, Educated came out, I don't know, it couldn't have been more than like five years ago, right? I'd be surprised if it was. That was a very interesting book and that was my first experience with a memoir like that, with this kind of crazy style of being raised and parenting and from the perspective of a child. This one feels reminiscent, but I just, there's something about the writing in this one that I'm enjoying it just a little bit more. So far, I don't know, they're both good. They're good, you know, in their own right. Um, Costco haul. Okay. I got three things of Ollie Pops. So those are outside. Chicken breast burrito bowls. I bought these a few times now. High in fiber, high in protein, and gluten free. I can't get to these quick enough. So I just freeze them and they're solid. I throw them on top of lettuce. I throw them in a tortilla. I eat them just like that. Put a little avocado on there, whatever. These, let me show you guys at the store, I think. Real good cheese and pepper jack cheese. Okay, that definitely says chicken. Chicken and pepper jack cheese burritos. Uh, I've had some real good stuff, like real good food. I don't remember how I felt about it, but there's four in here. They're decent size. This is probably about the size of my wraps that I make. Big old bag of mangoes because I've been struggling to find them, and I like to put mangoes in my smoothies, and it's Jaden's favorite thing to, like, have. Big thing of flour, parmesan. So this is what they look like and there's only six in each bag, yeah. So that's pretty good. Like me and Jay could probably eat a bag together kind of thing. We got some liquid IV because we are out. I like the Taste Salud ones, but they are ex they're expensive. So I these are expensive too. So I don't buy so many all at once. I try not to have, I just, the more we have, the quicker we go through them. That's pretty much how it works. So I decided just to get the one bag. Uh, we got some butter, and then we got some of these spreadable butters. I keep these in the freezer. And then this was some of the stuff we went for. Like, I went for these Chobani flips because the price is really good. Finally, we found these, and the price is great on these because even for the multi-pack that I get at Jewel, it's eight dollars for four and this is only eleven dollars and you get 12 bowls oh and beef jerky two bags of beef jerky okay actually now it's starting to make sense because the two bags of beef jerky we bought the american where's it at Shug? it's over there i was looking to figure out what skin tone i was oh it's over here uh, i bought two of these these are so good i bought one uh like a month ago and then We've just started maxing it because um, that American Wagyu, whatever, mom, so good. Me, the way you're tilting it is stressing me out because you're dropping jerky on the floor. Like, tilting it is actually wild. All right, I'm going to put it away, and Jaden's decided now he's sick, so uh, I guess Nala tagged him, and he's at... Sick now? What happened? He doesn't feel good. That's why he just went to bed. He just took a Gatorade and went upstairs to bed. Anywho, oh, I did get a little PR package from... Our oh, friends yeah. over at L'Oreal, they sent over, and actually I'm so excited because I was just looking at my foundations today and they're not quite matching the way I need them to. Oh, you won't stop following me. But they sent over two new True Match nudes and then some concealers. Three new concealers. The True Match Radiant Serum Concealer. Isn't I've created a monster. Listen, okay. Just so you guys know, I literally have never, mom and me have literally never bought makeup. It's not like 
I'm going out and buying. I, I bought. Up. No, that's not no, true. No way. Because I bought you some of the little. Oh. Pixie very things, rarely the NYX butter gloss set. Yes, very rarely though is mom buying me makeup, and when it is, it's almost always lip stuff. Your breath smells so much like beef jerky, and all I ate was beef jerky, so I feel like I must also smell like beef jerky. Now we just have a problem on our oh. hands that we need to fix, and you guys do not need to be a part of it. We went to Duncan. By we, I mean me and Nolly Polly because Jaden is sick. He's over there somewhere. Yeah, that's great. They were just like, tag your it. Bloop. <laughs> you get to stay home now. So he's upstairs. Yeah, normally you guys know we go to Cassandra's, but Nolly was like, Mother May we? And I was like, surely, darling. <sighs> Apparently their chai latte is real bad with oat milk. Don't get it. According to Nala, she actually threw the whole thing out. So I don't even blame her because yesterday I got a chai latte with a whole milk at the coffee shop. And if y'all saw my Instagram, <laughs> I said I was a ticking time bomb. I wrote it across my forehead. And then most of you understood. And then one person was like, why, what's going to happen? And I was like, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. Uh, so yeah, no, okay, we're home. Obviously, I got this vest on today, so I guess my personality today is person that wears vest that is extremely puffy. What do we have to do today? What is our agenda for the day? It's 6.51. It just flipped. I'm up in Adam. I'm ready to go. Ret to go. I'm like halfway through, a little more than halfway through The Glass Castle. Damn, that is a, that's a phenomenal book. It's just like, I cannot wait to get back to it. You know when you have a book where you can't wait to get back to it or a TV show or whatever it is, like you can't wait to like have the time to immerse yourself in that world again? That's how I feel about The Glass Castle. It's just so stellar. So I'll probably finish that one up today. And then I'm reading Wait For It by Mariana Zapata on my uh, Kindle. <sighs> That one, I can wait to get back to it. There's nothing wrong with it. I just am not into the, like, solid meat and potatoes of it yet. So, yeah. Part of me wants to make a coffee. You see, I went to Dunkin'. I didn't even get anything because I'm not freaking hungry, bro. Even the things that normally appeal to me don't appeal to me. Even my coffee. I, I think I made coffee with you guys yesterday. I didn't even drink half of that coffee. I see now the challenge of how do you get all of your nutrition in <laughs> if you have zero desire to eat or drink anything. How do you do it? This is a weird problem to have, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've never experienced this in my entire life, so. Take it, the meds are working. Lori, when I called her, approved of my plan. I could live with her, she said, if I got a job and chipped in on the rent. Brian liked my idea too, especially when I pointed out that he could have my bed. He began making wise cracks in a locked jaw accent about how he was going to become one of those fur-wearing, pinky-extending, nose-in-the-air New Yorkers. Dad, how'd I put creamer on it? You'll never build a glass castle. Are you saying you don't have faith in your old man? Mm. Even if you do, I'll be gone. In less than three months, I'm leaving for New York City. It's okay. I forget how much better it is having things like actually at eye level as opposed to down here all the time. I just filmed a little reel or we'll see if I actually publish it. I filmed about a thousand and I published six. Dr. Dennis Gross, he, he, <laughs> they had uh, sent over this plump and repair lip treatment and it's like a plumping treatment. I mean, Too Faced does a lot of plumping stuff. So I'm used to the plumping stuff because, you know, I'm used to the tingle and stuff that you get. But this one in particular, it said on the box, like the PR box, it said, actually, it's it's right there. But it says 88% of people would replace their lip fillers with it. Like, that's, um, I think that's a big claim. <laughs> so I just filmed myself uh, with it on for 10 straight minutes to see if like you could see the difference, you know? Anyway, I do think there is a bit of a difference. I just don't think it's like, if someone's getting lip filler, I don't think that's necessarily gonna replace their uh, desire to have lip filler because it's not giving you super duper plumped lips. And then I put on the milk uh, makeup, the jelly. You guys have probably seen them on the interwebs. But I've been using it every day. I use it on my lips and, well, every day that I do my makeup and my um, cheeks, a little. <laughs> I was testing this the other day. You transfer it to your finger, right? And you can see the color. And then when you go to transfer it to your, like to your skin, it's literally, it's dry. It's just on. You wanna see that again? So it's on the thumb and then you go to transfer it. That's crazy. <laughs> Back to the stupid hair cell. I don't enjoy 
but we're gonna make it work. Today is Saturday. We don't have a lot of plans. My son was homesick all day yesterday and that sucked, but he said he's feeling better today. He was literally in bed. He didn't do anything. I was just keeping him um, hydrated and you know, whatnot basically. So he said he's feeling better. He came downstairs, he made himself a smoothie, which is good. So I don't know what we're gonna do today, but I guess I'll take you along. I love days like this where it's just like a free day. I know with Nala's baseball season or softball season starting up again soon, these days are gonna be few and far between. And then with summer right around the corner after that, like things pick up, you know what I mean? So I really, really, really relish these days of like very little, if not nothing on the schedule. I enjoy it. So uh, I had a comment that said like, I'm so surprised that you didn't host the Super Bowl. And if you noticed, maybe you didn't, right? <laughs> Cause you're not there every single day of my life, but I really have not been hosting nearly as much. And there are many reasons for it, but I have to say that the, and then I enjoy, I enjoy hosting. So, you know, it is what it is. I like to look at the upside of things. So looking at the upside of this decision to host significantly less, the upside is that it's just, there's so much calm and peace, like in my home all the time. And I love it. Went with the harness because I decided to go with the docks for today. It was a little preppier and dressier earlier, but then I was like, mm, let's not. Where are we going? That's an excellent question. And I would love to answer that for you. However, I have no idea. I didn't film at Barnes, but now we're at. I thought you did film. I filmed vertical at Barnes, and so. And filmed me dancing, which I told her to keep in. So y'all tell me, y'all tell me if you should see me dancing. You should. I was hangry. That's probably one way to describe it. Yeah. You were angry. No, I wasn't angry. I was getting frustrated because yeah, I was extremely hungry. Right the sewing machine? The sewing oh, machine. Oh, the sewing machine. Yeah, wait, just a bunch the of kids. No, wait, no, wait, no please. The I'm kids the tap the thing. Okay, I, I tried to get water, but and I it, accidentally tapped it. And it so was high C or something? It was, yeah, it was high C. It was sweet. bright red, streaming full. Full speed, non-stop, and I, I stopped as I was saying, I stopped to look over at you, and I said, what did you do? And the guy was like, oh, they didn't do anything. <laughs> it's just like that, and it's just non-stop. It's like nine-year-old crew passes, and she goes, it's like nine-year-old walks past, oh, it's still dragging. <laughs> it's upset, of me. second. This nine-year-old walks past, and goes, don't worry, it'll stop eventually, and I'm just like, <laughs> Yeah, I'm so confused. Oh, I didn't know they were nice. We stopped here because I really wanted somewhere where I could grab a salad with some meat on it, but I wanted to be able to sit down and eat it right away since obviously I'm the one driving. Yeah, Jaden said he wasn't going to drive today. I don't know why, because... I mean, how old were you guys when you learned to drive? And I know y'all are not 16. Not all of you, okay? Okay? I was like 14 or Listen, I've been in a lot of cars driven by a lot of people, and a lot of them were not old enough to drive. Okay, that's just how it goes. Um, I remember the first time it happened, I was in the back seat and my cousin, my grown cousin was driving. She was probably like 20 or something, maybe not even 20. And then all of a sudden they pull up to a stop sign and they stop and then they both open the door and they get out of the car. And I'm in the back seat like, what's going on? And then the young one gets in the driver's seat and I was like, oh, what's going on? I'm gonna die today. <laughs> Look at these peaks of the kids get their own pizza, and they usually both eat two full pizzas. JK. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like, why are you lying? Thank you. So blandly. It's like not that bad. You said it would look sad, but it look No, this sad. one doesn't look like it was going to be sad. The one next to it looked like it was going to be sad. So I got a salad, and I got truffle fries for us to nibble on if we want. And then Nala, what would you put on yours? Um, Sausage, garlic, and olives. I normally add basil to you, but I forgot. And you? Olives, onions, mushrooms. Olives, mushrooms. And sausage. Sausage, and onions. onions. Bacon. There's probably bacon in there. Did you ask for bacon? Yeah. Then it's probably underneath somewhere. This is usually great because then the kids get a couple of meals out of it and I don't have to cook. And we love that for us. Mm -hmm. 
And these are truffle fries. Oh, we we get this for lunch. Oh, I got today was Monday. I know. Okay, while you were sick the other day, I made a freaking steak, and I made you steak and potatoes, and it's in your lunch box from Thursday. I packed it up for you Thursday night, and you didn't go to school. So just so you know, there's a rare I steak and potato in there. So much on Thursday. That pizza is so good. This place really is good. If you guys have not tried it, it's very yummy. I'm sure this is gonna be great. Uh huh. That's what it was. It was a pair of cargos with like too many seams in it. Yeah. And then my, and then it busted up, and then boom, Pillsbury biscuits came out. Or my upper thigh, basically the same thing. She wasn't. We're making. It's a pizza day. I don't have anything to put here. I did, and then Grandma called, and then. And then, and then pizza right day. Now. We are ready for pizza. I just gotta turn it on and hope it doesn't snap. I was gonna ask you, where's your brother? Where's Jay? He's upstairs. We were, we were playing a board game all morning, this trial by trolley game over here. Oh, brother. Have you already, oh, you already did all the slapping. I did. I just need to shape them, so let them rise again. Do you slap it for 20 minutes? I do it until I, I cut until my hand hurts. I throw until my shoulder hurts. So it's not 20 minutes. I'm not in that good of shape. Dang. He's got slides on. It's embarrassing for people to know you own a jacket. That's what I learned about middle schoolers. Oh, if yeah. someone knows you have a jacket, how embarrassing. Ew. We're making pizzas today. Um, because it's, I don't know, 50 degrees. Mostly clear, 56 degrees right now. Say less, okay? This thing hasn't been cracked into for a while. <laughs> it's getting a lot of sun damage out here. Let me just flip this around. Me and the kids just hanging out, I'm making coffees. I'm making sourdough right now. I got some loaves, proofing. My parents came by. We were playing trial by trolley all morning. Oh God, I forgot how absolutely disgusting this thing is. <laughs> we had a horrible time last time I tried to use this. Um, it was very disheartening. I did a very bad job. My sink and stuff are not even on out here right now, so what it is. You know what I mean? We're gonna deal with that. Uh, so I'll be taking stuff inside, but that's okay. And of course, what I mean by saying my sink is not on is that it's still winter, so I can't, you know, the pipes get frozen and stuff like that, and then they uh, break inside my house. We already had that happen last year. So I'm not gonna turn that on until winter is fully, completely done because it's not happening again. Is that bed open? So I'm gonna pick this up and scrape it because it looks like a hot mess, but I do love this pizza oven. It's the um, uni. My parents got it for me two Christmases ago, and it's, it's lovely. So we need to get this stuff out, and then I need to grab the propane tank. I will say, like, these things are definitely a bit of an investment, but they have smaller ones, and they're actually, they taste incredible. The whole reason we're doing this is because the other day we went to Woodgrain Pizza, and it was so freaking good. And, like, this morning I was like, dang, and I was like, who ate my pizza? freaking out and I am and I'm like dude why don't we just make pizza like we can literally make our own pizza and she's like yeah so thankfully we have some ingredients I did the quick King Arthur dough still took three hours but it doesn't take 24 like the normal one does oh yeah this needs to be cleaned okay this is going inside we are going to scrape this bad boy because this is not seasoned this is straight Bernie Kozar on here no thank you literally the bunniest buns Love it. <laughs> I feel like there should be a train that's running through that you, you know? If I still have my love train, I'm bringing it down here so I can get it over here. I have one. I'm not so, so we agreed to this is what yeah. we're doing. Okay. Slay the day away with Nala Ray Mackay. Nala Ray Mackay. So, Noeli Poily, my love, is uh, making her lunch. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you, do you <laughs> guys know you make YouTube shorts with? Um, lunchbox things, I feel like that Oh would my work. gosh, that's what you should be doing. Should that's I, where the money is, darling. Should I be, and by money, should I be filming I mean it, use. making them? Or like sh showing them what I eat? Like for lunch? Just in a day. In a day? Like, what I'm taking for lunch today. I'm gonna do that. Do it. So I made the pizzas and they were good. Um, trial and error. A lot of trial, a lot of error. But eventually it did work out. This is all we have left. And I know this probably looks like a ton of pizza but I made like seven of them. So this is not that much. They were progressively smaller than this. It's tricky to get the, the dough cooked and the top not burnt, but regardless of how it cooks, it tastes incredible. These pizzas taste incredible, no matter what. Like whatever you do, they taste so damn good. I don't know, I think it's because it's like obviously cooking on a fire, like stone, it, that obviously makes a huge difference. 
It does, yeah. It gives it's wood grain vibes, wood grain pizzeria. And then I just pulled these two loaves out of the oven, so they're mega hot right now. Excited about this. So we have our fresh bread for the week. Nala was requesting that. Our cookie thing is empty. That's okay because I'm thinking about my parents just left. They just went across the street to my brother's house, and my mom, she do be talking. So chances are they're not going to leave for a little bit. So I'm thinking maybe I whip up some white chocolate macadamia nut cookies because what I've been trying to do is go through these chips because here's what happens, right? Every year I have this thing. It's full of chips. It's full of a million different types of chips. I go to start my cookies and I rebuy all the chips because they're from the previous year, basically. So I was like, let's not do that. Let me actually use them and not have a stockpile. Then when I need chips, I just buy chips chocolate chips or white chips or whatever uh i've used a ton of them because i've been making cookies lately and um now i think what i'm gonna use are these white chocolate ones i was like what can we make with these and nala was like white chocolate macadamia nut so yesterday we went to aldi i grabbed a bag of oven roasted macadamias and i'm like this has got to be the major i've never made white chocolate macadamia nut cookies so or however you say it white macadamia i'm not sure how you say it but besides that we have a zero sugar Reese's, a stevia milk chocolate, I think that's what that one is. Stevia something something chocolate. Reese's, and then these are like some sea salt caramel lilies chips, so that's not a big deal. These can just get tossed in with a different one. And then, that'll be perfect. I don't like to stockpile that. Just like I have a ton of peanut butter and nut butters, and I'm like, peanut butter cookies, like oatmeal cookies, raisin, like anything I have a stockpile of that I do not need, I'm, I'm gonna try to cook it, because if I cook it, they eat it. Drying fruit and honey, top tier combo. Top Is it? Com you didn't put it on there already, did you? No, that's why I'm taking my little boy. My little, my little Where did I get this from? I don't know, but now it's mine because I licked it while I was sick. Yeah, now I just refills it. Mm -hmm. It's really cute. Let me find a macadamia nut cookie, and if it goes hard, I will share it with you guys. I went through all of my cookbooks. I know they, okay, they're not coming across that amazing on camera, but these things actually, okay, according to the one person that ate them, are incredible. That being said, I went through all of my cookbooks. Couldn't find a singular white macadamia nut cookie recipe in all of my cookbooks. Okay, I didn't look through every single one, but I looked through like nine of them and I couldn't find one. So I ended up going back to the 100 cookies, 100 cookies cookbook and I picked out my favorite chocolate chip recipe from there. Not like one of the fancy ones, not brown butter, not thin and crispy, none of those. Just a regular soft chocolate chip cookie recipe, which is so good from that book. And I ended up using that, but obviously without the chocolate chips and instead I did white chips and macadamia nuts so good and those are my least favorite macadamia nuts by far my least favorite ones that i've ever had outside of raw ones which are disgusting the ones from aldi i really don't like them i don't know why i don't know what they're doing different there normally i love aldi aldi is delicious but those ones kind of gross so all that being said reviews are coming in guys no i haven't actually tried them yet i'm not hungry i did have some of that pizza earlier we have the bread sitting here i'm letting it cool <laughs> so Solomon was taking pictures he's like i'm gonna compare this to your mom's your moms don't look like this. I said, it's because the mother knows she's home. This is her actual home. This is where she started. She acts up at your house because she's, you know, she's just visiting. Cleaning my kitchen for the 10,000th time. I finished a Mariana Zapata book yesterday. And normally I love Mariana Zapata. And I still really enjoy this book. I read Wait For It. But like, and she is the queen of slow burn. So I expect, you know, not even hand holding until chapter 1 million. I, sometimes it's like 90% into the book. You know what I mean? 87% into the book. They just held hands like that. And I love that because as I told you guys, my favorite part of the stories are the buildup. And a lot of times, once the couple gets together, I tend to kind of start to lose interest. So if there's still 79% of the book left after the couple got together, no, it's going to be a tough one for me to get through. Unless you're like an incredible author and the story you're spinning is just like, wow. But uh, that one was not my favorite. I didn't hate it. I didn't dislike it. I was okay putting it down and usually I read her books in one sitting. I mean, one long sitting because her books are crazy long. But yeah, no, I just, I was like, okay, this was just fine. And um, I've read the reviews on some of her other ones that I haven't read because I've read most of them and they're not great. The ones that are left, it's like uh, Love Court and Malakin uh, or Malachi or something. Lingus, uh, Dear Aaron, like none of those have great reviews. So I kind of don't even want to read them. I mean, they have some good reviews, but the people that I kind of trust to review those, they didn't particularly enjoy them. And I'm like, okay. So I'm going to jump back into the Chestnut Springs series. I'm still dibbling, dabbling, and haunting Adeline and 
God of mercy. I'm still going through those. I'm reading some every day pretty much, but I think I'm gonna jump back into Ch Chestnut Springs and I'm going to book three, which I think is fearless, hopeless, hopeless. hopeless? I don't know, it's freaking hard. They're, all the names are very simple. I need to post a vlog. <laughs> I've edited, here's my thing. I keep editing the vlogs and then thinking, so much of this is so boring, Sarah, just cut it out. And then I go and I dissect the vlog and I take out a whole bunch. And then I think, no, nope, still pretty boring. Takes more out the next day. Or I'll go to sleep and then the next day I wake up like, oh, you gotta take more out. Then I'll take more out. And then what happens is it's too short. So then I gotta wait for another day to pass so that I can add more. And this keeps happening because I just feel like my vlogs don't perform super well on this channel. And at the end of the day, this is my job. So that's something I have to take into account. And I know some of you are just literally just like the sweetest little the honey bunches of oats. And you're like, I would watch you do anything. The reality is most people wouldn't. Most people flipping through YouTube don't know who I am. So why would they stop on me? I'm not like a particularly interesting face or have the best thumbnail or, you know what I'm saying? That's why I haven't been posting quite as much. Just, just recently, I did purposely take a break. That was not an accident. That did not just happen. That was a, uh, very much on purpose. Um, I had rhyme, reason, and everything else. I turned the timer off. You know what I've been thinking about lately? Are like old YouTubers that you never see anymore or like channels that I never see anymore. There was this one girl many years ago. She had bright red hair. It was colored. And she, I wanna say her, maybe her name was Rachel. She was, I would probably say like mid-size and she would do all kinds of just different videos. She had makeup videos, she had other videos. Um, I really liked her a lot. And then she like kind of stopped and she opened a store, I think. I can't remember if she sold soap or stickers and stuff. I don't remember, but then like, I don't, I don't know what happened to her. There was a girl named Megan who I loved, Megan Murphy. Uh, I didn't remember her. I know she ended up working in like social media and stuff. Um, I loved uh, Jay Loves Mac. <laughs> um, she was really funny. I've loved, dude, there were so many people. Even What's Up Moms recently, one of their videos came across my feed and I was like, I had no idea they still made videos because of course, you know, eventually YouTube starts showing you people. Oh man, I loved, I loved their videos. Like when my kids were little, I really loved their video. I remember following them when they barely had any followers and you know, obviously now they have like a gazillion followers and um, yeah, they were great. There were just so many, like so many OG people. Melissa, um, Melissa with the twins. She was so cute. And then the other one with the twins, what's her name? Uh, her intro was reporting live from, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> uh, dang, she lived in Vegas. Some obviously disappeared and are never posting ever again. The Jenna Marbles of the world. Some still post, you just don't see them anymore. Gonna finish making cookies and then read a book, chill, drink water. I really need some water. <laughs> But uh, thanks for hanging out. Bye.